we are launching an applied intelligence studio for mining. Um, so this is actually what we call a, a global studio, and I'll explain in a minute what, what that means. So I, I currently run the, the local applied intelligence practice, which is our terminology for the analytics practice, but there's a big focus on how you actually apply it for business value in, um, rather than just do analytics for the sake of it. Um, the local practice services all of our industries with a, with a large array of, um, of solutions. Um, and when we need to actually solve hard problems for our clients, we tap into actually the global network, which is um, creates centers and studios of very niche skill to help solve very specific problems or very niche skill to support very specific industry problems. So we are actually creating one of those, which will be part of our global organization. Um, and the difference here is that this studio will be actually for the global mining community um, and it will be highly specialized of uh, data science skills specifically for the mining industry and working very specifically on problems uh, for mining. We are seeing a lot of demand for digital solutions in mining and we're also seeing um, we're, we're seeing that the mining industry needs to evolve um, they, they need to try and be sustainable and competitive in, in the current market. Um, in Johannesburg uh, we are very close and you know co-located with a number of um, large mining operations um, and obviously it's also the base often for mining operations into Africa. Um, so there's a large concentration here of clients that are looking for this type of capability. Um, we also believe that being a good data scientist in mining is about knowing the mining industry and, and you know, understanding the, the engineering, the operations, the reality of those, those um, that industry, and secondly, being data scientists. So it's not necessarily the, the availability of core, deep data science knowledge, but the huge talent pool we have from a mining and engineering perspective that are also kind of, that they're also familiar and, and um, capable of data science work. And we believe that's the secret source to, to make um, analytics and mining successful. And South Africa has, um, has a, a fair abundance of that. So the studio will look at how to apply data science and analytics within this industry um, to benefit it. Actually, that can be done in many, many different ways. I think we'd be surprised at, you know, to understand how, how many applications there are. So I'll, I'll give you an example. We look, we're, we're working, for example, on um, understanding global commodities demand um, and understanding um, the sort of supply and demand dynamics globally for certain commodities and to give companies a better idea of where to ship and at what price point, um, which um, they, may, they may have been doing the same way for, for many, many years. But this is giving them additional information and intelligence in that regard. Um, we're looking at how to um, predict things like geohazards um, that companies never really thought were actually predictable. Um, we are looking at ways to optimize their operations, predict when assets might be failing, how to actually schedule in an optimized way. Um, so th those are examples of areas that you can apply analytics to generate intelligence to, to be more effective. Um, Another big area um, that we're, we're looking at investing in is the one of safety. How do we know where your workers are, what kind of state of health they're in, um, whether they're going into unsafe zones. It's another area that is um, sort of a, a big potential investment area for digital and intelligence solutions. And when I say intelligence solutions, I mean solutions that have the analytics and the data science and machine learning built into them um, to be far more effective than they would have previously been.